Okay, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to bench test an Arctic Cat Stator from the early 80s. What we've got is, um, I've got six leads coming out of the stator itself. Two are connected to the ignition coil, two are connected to the stator itself, and two are connected to ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to set our meter on ohms. This is really easy and really quick if you're trying to diagnose a logical problem and you have the stator out of the, out of the machine. 18.2 uh, ohms between the two, that's good. We're going to take one of the leads and go right to ground with it. 164. When I say ground, what I'm saying is there's a lead coming off of between the two coils that actually goes right to the casing here. And we'll test the other one. 181, 182. That's right where I want it. That's good. Now what we're going to do is for the stator itself, we're looking for the two leads. Basically what it does is one lead comes in, wraps around all the way, and then comes right back out. That's all it is. We'll read between the two. Let's see what we got. I've got 1.1 ohms. I'm going to have to check the spec on that. I know it does output voltage, but I'm going to double check the spec on that to see if that's good. Now we're going to go to ground with both leads one at a time. I've got nothing to ground, which means this coil right now at room temperature is not shorted to this aluminum block which it's sitting on. Which is a good thing. And the other lead is good as well. So we're good on that. And that's how easy it is to test a stator. As long as you have your specifications from your service manual as to what you're looking for, then um, that's it. I mean, basically, you can heat this with a heat gun. Sometimes I'll heat it with a heat gun, and you'll see the... Actually, uh, I'm going to do that right now. We'll heat it with a heat gun so you guys can see the difference in the ohms under, like, a running condition. Because my heat gun is 1,500 degrees, which is about three times hotter than the engine will ever get. So if I heat the ignition coils, you guys will see it right now, exactly the difference between the ohms, ohm readings, when it's real hot. Now you can see the ohm rating right there, 17.6. I'm going to throw this heat gun right on the ignition coil on high, and we'll see, we'll see what happens to the ohm rating. There it goes, going up. 18. 18.2. 18.3. I mean, this heat gun's putting out like 1500 degrees. Some kind of, well, it's 1500 watts, which is extremely hot. 18.7. almost 19 you can see the reading going up so as your engine gets hotter the resistance value goes higher 19.2 19.3 19.4 but it's not making any dramatic jump so I'm gonna say this ignition coil is probably good 19.7 19.7. Now I know you're allowed a 20% range with the uh, factory. I believe this is original. The sled only had 1,200 miles on it, so I'm pretty sure that's a factory ignition coil. Um, but so far, so good. I mean, that's an easy way to test it. There's not there's not much to uh, the electronics on a on a snowmobile. They're very they're very simple, um, and hopefully this will help some people. Get an idea of what's going on with uh, with this sled.